What's up guys, Brad here with Shiny Tech Things, where we tech things seriously. And on today's Tech Tuesday, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to retrieve your Dell service tag number. If you can't read it on the bottom of your laptop or the back of your computer, then this tip will be extremely helpful to you because you'll be able to take that service tag number and put it right into Dell's support site to see exactly what your hardware is when it was shipped from the factory. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's say that I don't know the Dell service tag number off of this laptop. Now there's a way inside of Windows to be able to actually retrieve that. So let's go ahead and check this out. So I'm going to go ahead and begin here by opening up a command prompt and the simplest way to do that is to go ahead and hold down the Windows key and press the letter R for run. Here I'm going to go ahead and type in CMD, hit enter, and now we are at a DOS prompt. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and type in WMIC space BIOS space get space serial number. And that's all one word for serial number. Hit enter and boom, there is the serial number. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. That is the service tag for this Dell. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up a browser. I opened up a incognito browser. So that way, if I've been to support.dell.com before, it won't pick up the previous settings. So now I pulled up support.dell.com. It went ahead and redirected me to here. And actually, because I am running some of the Dell software, it did pick up the serial number of my machine. However, I can still go ahead and just paste that serial number or Dell service tag number right into the search support and click on search and it gives us the warranty on the system, the type of warranty, and then if we click on view system configuration, it will actually pull up the original configuration from the factory. Now that concludes on how to be able to go ahead and retrieve your Dell service tag number if you can no longer read it off of the machine itself to be able to identify what exactly you have in your computer as well as checking the warranty status on your machine. Now, if you like this video and found it useful, go ahead and slap that like button if you haven't already. And if you didn't, then you can go ahead and slap that dislike button. And of course, if you'd like to see more content like this, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button, click on the bell icon. And if you go ahead and select to be notified on every single new release, then every time I put out a new video, you'll be notified. Now also what would really help out this channel is that if you share this across your social media and tell your other nerdy friends about it. Thanks, appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one.